Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing a pregnancy yoga sculpt. I'm gonna use light dumbbells, three pounds, but you could also do it without weights or you could grab filled up water bottles or cans of beans. This class is great for both stretching and strengthening during pregnancy. If you like videos like these, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified every week when I upload new pregnancy yoga and workouts. I'm also gonna to link to the whole pregnancy yoga playlist as well as in the description box below. There's over a hundred different videos. You can save it and come back to the different workouts whenever you like. We can start in a comfortable seated position. You can place your weights just to the side for now. Sitting up tall, stretching out our neck. Doing some deeper breath. place one hand to the side stretch up and over deep breaths into your side body and ribs switching to the other side let's go back and forth once more Let's move into an all fours position. We'll mobilize our spine with cat and cow, pressing into your hands, rounding out through your back, especially ballooning out through your lower back. If it feels good, you can take some movement here. On your next inhale, slight arch, pulling your baby in. Tail rounding out. Inhale, slight arch. Coming back to a neutral spine. So we can grab one weight here. We'll set up for some bird dog. Engaging your core, pulling your baby in. We'll extend out our arm and foot releasing down. If this is too much, you can do it without the weight. Last one here. Good. Switching the weight to the other hand. Setting up, engaging your core, lifting opposite hand and leg. Exhale as you lift. Making sure not to let your back arch. one. Good. Now we can place our weight behind our knee, bend our knee. We'll move into some donkey kick pulses here. Using your glutes. If this is uncomfortable for your wrist, you can also go down on your elbows. release down switch the weight to the other side lifting up releasing down and place that weight to the side again. 
Let's take a big arm circle here. Changing sides. Good. Taking your knees apart, stretching into child's pose. Releasing your head to the ground. Take a couple of deep breaths into your back ribs. Pressing into your hands, walking yourself up. Let's come up to our knees, moving into gate pose. You can take your right foot out to the side, reaching up. And over, having a nice stretch, steady breaths, shoulders are rolled down your back. Inhale up, switching to the other side, lifting up, over. Next inhale, coming up, bringing your knees together again. Let's grab our weights or our water bottles. We can make our way up to a standing position. You can mirror me and turn to your left, spreading your toes, hip width distance apart, sinking back into our hips, lift our arms up for chair pose, deep breaths, pulling your baby in. One more breath here. Good, let's release our hands down and take some pulses behind. A few more here. Good, release, standing up. Let's take our right leg, step back to warrior. Bring our hands out in front, and we're gonna curl up, down, good. Two more here. one we can release our arms down let's turn facing the front making your back foot perpendicular to your front opening up for warrior two we can hold our hands out here you can keep them static or for an extra challenge you can do small pulses right here core is engaged Good, release it down. Let's tip into side angle pose here. You can keep your bottom palm up and we can take our top hand to our waist and we'll do some bicep curls here. to bring our stance in a little bit. Feet are still turned out, sinking down into a sumo squat or goddess pose. We can bring our hands up and open and we'll close, open. Beautiful. Good, come on up, shake it out. 
Let's grab a sip of water. It's really important to stay hydrated in pregnancy, and then we'll come back up to standing. Grabbing your weight again. This time we'll turn it to our right, spreading your toes, weight evenly between the four corners of your feet and sitting back as if you're sitting in a chair. You can either bring your hands up or leave them at your shoulders, engaging your core. Good. If your hands are up, bringing them down, palms up, small pulses here. more good release straightening your leg let's take your left foot place it back for warrior one finding a strong stance bringing your arms in front palms up flex straighten good Last one, good, bringing your hands down, opening your hips up to the front, warrior two legs, exhale, bringing your arms out, shoulders roll down your back, engaging your core, staying static with tiny pulses here. more good releasing down place one hand on your hip and then lean over for side angle preparing for bicep curls legs are strong Last one, good, coming up, bringing your feet in a little bit, sinking down into goddess pose, and arms in, out. Last one, good, releasing up, we can shake it out. We can place our weight down. And coming up, we're gonna move into a yogi squat. So you can take your feet a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. You could also ease yourself down on a wall or sit on a stool. We will bend our knees and come down. your elbows against your knees. It's okay if your heels come off, you could also roll up your mat underneath your heels. Sitting tall, we'll take a couple of breaths here. Last breath here. You can either press up into a standing position or if it's comfortable, you can place your hands forward, bringing your knees down. We'll come to a kneeling position. Moving one forward to move into a kneeling lunge. Finding your balance, shifting your hips forward, tucking your pelvis under for a deeper stretch through your psoas. You can place your hands on your knee, or if it's comfortable, you can place them on the inside of your foot, leaning all the way forward. Deep breath. Let's 
take our front knee and foot, and if it's comfortable, you can turn it out and we'll move back and forth here. This is great for getting baby in a good position. Your last time, push yourself up. You can bring your foot in again. Let's straighten our front leg, flex it, and just hinge at your hips here for a gentle stretch. Inhale, come up. You bring your foot back in, switching to the other side. Shifting into your lunge. Staying high, or you can move your hands onto the ground. Turning your knee and your foot out, lunging forward. Last one, pressing up, flexing your front foot, hinging at your hips. Light tuck in your chin to find the length in your spine. Inhale, coming up. Let's find our way to a seated position. You can bring one foot in and extend the other for Janu Shirshasa. Inhale, sitting tall. Hinging at the hips again, folding over your leg. You can take your hands forward if that feels good. Inhale, coming up. Let's bring our feet in for a butterfly or Baddha Konasana. And your knees flop out. If it feels good, you can also sit on a pillow or a block if it's uncomfortable. Stay tall or release forward. Coming up and switching to Janu Shashasana on the other side. Squaring your hips. Sitting tall, slight forward fold. The front leg is activated, foot is flexed. To Shavasana from here. Let's get down safely on our side. You can grab a pillow or a bolster block for between your knees and underneath your head. Releasing down carefully, finding a comfortable position. You can place your hand on your belly to connect with your baby. Send your baby love. Let your eyes close. Places of tension in your body and relax them.
continue to rest here, but if you'd like to finish up with me, start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Take any stretches that feel good. Finding your way up to a seated position. I will read the pregnancy yoga card for the day. No other mother's birth story is mine. My birth will be unique, special, and miraculous. I am preparing and I will create my own positive birth experience. Namaste to you. Namaste to the babies. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you're feeling stretched out and strong after that class. I would love to know what you think in the comments below. Of course, I will keep making pregnancy yoga workouts and Pilates every week. If you like videos like these, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will also link to the free resources for pregnancy that I have in the description box below. I have a complete guide on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor, a pregnancy meal plan that I put together as a registered dietitian, as well as a pelvic floor guide on how to prepare your pelvic floor for birth and the fastest recovery after. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, if you liked that class, I'm going to link to another class you would enjoy as well and the whole pregnancy yoga and workout playlist. Save it and come back to the different workouts whenever you like. <laughs>